Goodbye, Syria. On the Greek side of the border, we found huge groups of migrants, most of them heading for Austria and Germany. Hundreds arrive here every day. These are the train tracks that migrants follow. And these woods around us is where they camp out. And this is where Mohammed and Ahmad, they camped out for a few days. It was here they first met the men who would later kidnap them. The area is swarming with people smugglers, offering to transport migrants on the next leg of the journey. But some of them work for the kidnappers. It's impossible to know who to trust. I understood Dari, and I overheard a group of smugglers discussing work. I'm Muslim. <laughs> Aziz, not his real name, knew about the group who took Ahmad and Mohammed and where migrants are being held hostage. Aziz told me that most people smugglers offer safe passage to migrants, but the kidnap gang was trying to take over business here. He then confirmed the name of the kingpin, Ali Baba, real name Nusrat. As night falls, hundreds of migrants pour across the border into Macedonia. Their destination, Gevgelia railway station. Aziz the smuggler claimed the local police here are bribed to switch off all security cameras for 40 minutes. The Macedonians claim there are no cameras at this station. When Mohammed and Ahmed arrived here in Gevgelia station, they were loaded onto a freight train. They said they went willingly. A deal had been struck between the group of migrants and people traffickers who promised them that they would take them to Belgrade in Serbia. A Greek official who did not want to be filmed told me that the Macedonian police, railway workers and customs officers are colluding to tamper with the security seals on wagon doors. This is how traffickers are shipping thousands undetected across borders. The Macedonians blame the Greeks for allowing the migrants through. Ahmed and Mohammed were told they would change trains at Cherkese near the Serbian border, but when they got there, they were kidnapped. أنا بتوقع الإحصائية العدد للمهربين اللي كانوا بينتموا للمافيا تقريبا خمسين شخص كانوا رابطين السك كل ليته بحيث ما يقدر أي إنسان ينفد أو يهرب منهن ضربوا كتير ناس بالعصي حتى في يعني حتى محمد ضربوا بالعصي لأني بالطريق شاف شوية مي بالأرض بده يشرب منهم كنا شبه شبه ميتين استغرقنا حوالي خمس ست the group was made to walk over two hours north across fields to a village called Vaksintse. Ahmed and Mohammed used their phone's GPS satellite navigation to locate the exact house where they were imprisoned. Following the coordinates they'd given us, we drove to the area. 